usually come home from work and probably get on my computer till about one or two o'clock in the morning. So I'd say I play about eight hours a day at least, and then on the weekends even more. I'm definitely a hardcore gamer. The land parties, you know, hooking up with people that like to do the same thing as you. Just, uh, I don't know, I think it's just something that's real fun to do, keeps me out of trouble. One way we're kind of a community service for uh, for social outcasts. Um, some guys that would normally just be at home playing on their computer, this gives them a place to come and talk with other people that have common interests. It actually gives them uh, some social skills. You play the game as if you were running around yourself looking through your own eyes and uh, there's, there's several different modes you can play it in but it all comes down to you get a bunch of big weapons and you try to kill everybody else. There's lots of violence but it's, it's great, I mean, you know, you could blow people away and they'd explode into guts everywhere, but, you know, there's, there's tons of violence in these games. I worked for social services, so um, somebody had an argument with me that, uh, that I work with that said that, you know, it was bad that I, you know, brought people together and pr promoted violence and it desensitized people towards violence. And, you know, somebody who doesn't really understand what we do. Losing kind of hurts, but I'm one of those guys, I, I don't give up when I lose. So, usually when I lose, I, I always, you know, sit there for a while and I just kind of think about, you know, why did I lose? What did I do wrong? What should I have done, you know? And then I'll lose at a game and then I'll just play it for a week straight until I get better at it. I love to win, that's why I play them so much, but you know, it, it's, it feels more fun to win together as a team. That's, that's the thing I love is when we get together and strategize how we're going to execute something and then you play and you sit there and shout out orders to everybody across the room and you know, it all unfolds. It's, it's a lot of good fun. It's just more detached to play at home. You're alone, you're not in, in a group, and you know, here, you know, we see each other, we know who, who we're in competition with, and we get to talk about the game right afterwards and before. It just makes it a completely different experience. And this land party's still kind of small, so everybody's kind of a little family. We all know each other, all the regulars, there's about 20 of us, we all kind of you know, we play other games, you know, while we're not here, some online games together. It's not about the violence. It's about um, simulating different environments and having abilities in a simulation that you wouldn't have in real life. We're in this imaginary world using weapons that don't exist or that we know exist but are fake in the game. And uh, we can take on a, a role that we can't in reality. And that's what makes it fun. It's like living in a storybook, you know, where you can do anything. You know.